Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to the conversation. Now, today I got a pretty interesting episode for you guys. And the question is, will Stephen A. Smith give Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers their credit if they win the NBA title this uh, coming season? And before I get into that, let me just first of all say, folks, we're going to have a season. I said this before, I was saying it all throughout the lockdown. I know a lot of you guys were commenting in the comment section saying, hey man, I'm not sure if we're gonna have a season, the season is a wrap. And I like to be a little bit positive and I just felt that there's no way that we as a, the global community, we're not gonna figure this thing out and you know get these games in uh, this year. I just didn't think so. I think there was too much money in sports. I think the players, you guys may not be aware of this, and the NBA players are actually not receiving checks again because the NBA has some clause. I think it's like a disaster clause where they can elect to stop paying players if a natural disaster or something like that occurs. And in this case, NBA players are not picking up their checks. And a lot of players, funny enough, were actually living paycheck to paycheck. And we did a video on this on our other show called Money in Sports. It's called um, NBA players are going broke fast. So we're going to put the video up here somewhere on the screen so you guys can see it. We're also going to put it in the description below so you guys can definitely check it out and watch that video. I think you guys will really enjoy that. Just gives you guys another perspective on the money side of sports. So definitely, so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. So definitely, there was an incentive on the player's side to get these games up and running again. And there was definitely an incentive side on the NBA because they had to pick up the checks and the TV deals. Now, another thing to bear in mind before I go a little bit further into the top, into the details of this particular um, topic that we have here for you guys today is that what I didn't understand was that 40% of the revenue that the NBA generates throughout the regular throughout the season or whatever it is, I believe comes from ticket sales, which to me is an astonishing figure. I mean, ticket sales, who would have thought? I thought the majority of their revenue come, came from the TV deals that they have, but apparently people going to arenas, filling up these seats and getting their butts in the seats and all this stuff generates a lot, a lot, a lot of income for the NBA. So for them to just throw away the season, they're basically gonna lose half of, or at least um, a third of the revenue that they were gonna generate from the seats because they were, if they were just supposed to you know cancel games there were 20 plus games to go not including the playoffs they're going to lose a lot of revenue in that and then also to now just go ahead and cancel the season altogether too much money was going to be left on the table and i don't I, and i think that if they had a way to really figure that out and come together and make all of that happen they were going to do so and it turns out that's exactly what they did so back to the topic at hand with my man stephen a smith now all of you guys know stephen a smith the TV personality, sports uh, uh, journalist, um, you know, radio host, and it's probably one of the most popular sports shows in the world on ESPN First Take. He's certainly the face of ESPN. Let me just quickly say, Stephen A. Smith is really good at, good at what he does. He's actually entertaining. You know, he's, I mean, he's not there f for no reason. He has a lot of connects all throughout, especially in the NBA. He knows all the basketball players. He knows Michael Jordan, he knows Kobe, I mean, he knew Kobe Bryant, knew Shaq, you know, Shaq. So he's well connected. He has a lot of sources and a lot of times he's breaking news and he's had some really historic epic moments on ESPN, especially if you go back and look at the whole Kwame Brown trade for Paul Gasol and so many other things. So Stephen A. Smith is quite entertaining and he deserved the checks that the check that he receives from uh, ESPN. So that being said, though, recently he hasn't he, did, he didn't he hasn't seemed to be too much of a big fan of Kawhi Leonard. I think at one point he said that Kawhi Leonard was either the fourth best player in the world behind LeBron, um, AD, KD, and I think he put Giannis ahead of Kawhi Leonard, or I think he was like the fourth best player in the world, which I totally disagree with. Now, going into the NBA Finals last season, Stephen A. Smith consistently picked against Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors at that time to win the championship. He picked against them with the Clippers. He definitely picked the Kawhi Leonard to lose against the Bucks, and he was, I mean, he was wrong, and he came on TV and said, Kawhi Leonard made all of us look like fools, including me, and he was one of the main ones trumpeting the fact that he be he believed that the Toronto Rap Raptors were going to get swept after losing the first two games to the Milwaukee Bucks, then they came back and won four straight, so he picked them, he picked them to lose, then he went to the finals, and he picked the Golden State Warriors, and then when Kawhi Leonard won, he was like, yeah, but the Golden State Warriors are not healthy. Let me just quickly address that point quickly. 
in the NBA, in the playoffs, there's a thing called injuries. Okay, it happened. It, it happened to the Golden State Warriors when they beat the Rockets when Chris Paul went down. It happened to the Golden State Warriors when they're playing against other teams and on uh, during their playoff run, when um, when when uh, uh, certain teams' point guards were getting injured. It happened to the Golden State Warriors when they played against LeBron James in the finals that first time, and Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love weren't available. So injuries happen as part of the game. Okay, it's part of the game when they beat the uh san antonio spurs and they had him down by like 20 plus points in the first in the, in the first half Kawhi leonard got injured so i don't want to hear the argument of injuries injuries is a part of the sport and at any given time your player can get inj injured and you have no control over it whatsoever you guys just recently saw the last dance documentary in game six in the nba finals scotty pippen was nursing a back injury he was injured nobody felt sorry for them and if the and, and if the utah jazz had won that nba championship they won it i don't want to hear about it's part of the game so stephen a smith has consistently picked against Kawhi leonard for whatever reason and this season he's done the same thing you know he believes that the la the the, the lakers are actually going to be the team to come out of the Western Conference and ultimately win the NBA championship. Now, this season, Kawhi Leonard is putting up some you know, really great numbers. He's averaging 27 points a game, getting you 7.3 rebounds, five uh, assists a game. Those are, I think, career highs, especially with the assist part and the points per game. Uh, he's shooting 47% from the field, 37% from the three-point line, 89% from the free throw line. Um, he's getting you basically damn near two steals a game. And he's putting up fantastic numbers this season once again. But the question is, though, if the Clippers win the NBA title, will he give them their props? Now, currently, last time we looked at the NBA standings, the Clippers were the number two seed right behind the Los Angeles Lakers, who had the number one seed in the Western Conference. The difference is, though, the Clippers had won seven out of their last three with their only loss coming to the Lakers, and I got to hand it to the Lakers, they had a really good win because they went in there and they got that win and they were able to finally get a win off of the Clippers who had won the previous two games against the Lakers. So kudos to the Lakers for winning that game, but the Clippers were beginning to hit their stride. Doc Rivers was beginning to ramp up their players, especially from the defensive end, and putting Kawhi Leonard on some of the, you know, the top offensive players in the league, just starting to gear him up for playoff basketball and getting him ready and just, you know, start so they can start playing, playing with that intensity. And you guys know that the Clippers were on a tear. They were winning so many games. They totally smashed the Houston Rockets and they essentially beat them at their own game with the small ball philosophy. And they just went in there and smashed those dudes in Houston. And that was one of their most impressive wins on during that run. And although that they lost to the Lakers, they came and bounced back the following the following game that they had on their calendar and won that game as well so projecting forward now that we know that we're going to have an nba season and it's either going to take place in i believe orlando Flor i mean in florida or it's going to take place in las vegas i still don't know the logistics of how they're going to do all of those things and how they're going to sort of um, the NBA is going to, you know, set up the games. And I, I mean, uh, is, it, is the Eastern Conference team going to be in Florida? Is the Western Conference team going to be in, L in Las Vegas? I don't know how all of that's going to play out just yet. We're going to see that as time progresses and more information comes out. So we're going to know how all of that's going to work out. Um, I don't even know how many games these players are going to have before the playoffs start. But I think players are starting to get ready to ramp into training camp and get their bodies right. And I think they're going to give them two weeks of training camp just to get themselves, you know, back into the flow of things. And then they're going to start playing some games before they go into the playoffs. So for me, I'm super excited. Now, given the fact that I picked the Laker, the Clippers to win the NBA championship and Stephen A. Smith has consistently picked the, the Lakers. The question is, will he give them their credit if they win? And my answer is no. I don't think Stephen A. Smith is going to give the Clippers their credit because Stephen A. Smith is one of those people that I've seen come to understand that he re he really hates to say that he's wrong, even if he's wrong or he's on, or, or he has a losing um, position. He still holds on to that position for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because they've told them that they've ingrained it into their brains that you guys must debate. You must debate. So even if your point of view is not strong, you still debate it. I don't know if that's the reason why. 
but a lot of the times he never admits when he's wrong. Max Kellerman has a very sly way of saying he's wrong is that, well, new information came out, so my opinion changed. That's just another way of saying I was wrong and now I'm changing, I'm modifying my standpoint on this particular issue or this particular topic. So in this case, I don't think Stephen A. Smith is gonna give the Clippers a credit. And um, if he doesn't, I think it's gonna be sad, but, and if he doesn't, I think a lot of people are gonna lose just a little bit of credibility in what he says because there's nothing wrong with admitting when you're wrong. And in my opinion, that's what I think is gonna happen. So what I wanna know from you guys is, do you think he will end up giving them their credit if they win, or do you think he won't? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you, um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified when all of our content comes out. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day. Peace.